A family is devastated by the loss of a would be seventh grader who was killed in senseless gun violence at a party in the Lower Ninth Ward on Sunday night. Tonight there was a huge turnout to remember Tatriana Peters. Devin Rodolato was there. Long day. A huge group of family and friends sent love to heaven at the lakefront Wednesday night. A group sometimes overwhelmed by grief over the horrific shooting death of 12 year old Tadriana Peters. God, let no baby be killed, no child be killed, no one be killed. That all lives really matter to you. God, you love all of us. Tadriana's mother could barely stand as her grandmother led the group in prayer. The personalized t shirts and signs and pink outfits, enough to show support but not bring back a beloved daughter. And we pray, Lord God, for this family, Lord God. We pray for the friends. We pray for our enemies. But most of all, Lord God. We are praying for those who have took her life, Lord God. Tadriana was shot Sunday night. She and a cousin stopped by a party on Delory Street in the Lower Ninth Ward to grab a phone charger from a relative on their way home when a car turned the corner and someone started shooting. Tadriana was hit by a stray bullet and neighbors tried to save her, but she died at a hospital. Her principal describes her as an outspoken girl who loved social studies, dancing, and fashion. She was a kid being a kid. Um, she unfortunately was a, a victim of what's happening all, far too often in the city of young people being in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's been nothing short of devastating for Peters' family, who now are calling for safer streets as they mourn a 12-year-old girl. I want to thank y'all for coming out. I want to thank everybody for the support for my Fly family. And we just, as a community, we have to stick together. And as those balloons floated up over the lakefront, you just couldn't miss the rainbow looking down. At the lakefront, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. No one has been arrested in this shooting and two other people were also hurt. If you know anything that could help investigators and to help this family, please, we're asking you to call Crime Stoppers.